question 50 show that y1 of x is equal to x and y2 of x is equal to mod x are linearly independent on minus infinity uh, less than x less than infinity however Ronskian cannot be computed first let's see whether these given functions are linearly independent uh, here we have given given y1 of x equal to x and y2 of x is equal to mod x so and the defined interval is minus infinity to infinity so we know that this mod function uh, can be written as y2 of x is equal to x for x is greater than or equal to 0 and minus x for x less than 0 uh, mod function is nothing but this so uh, for for uh, so since it has two values uh, we can write we can see whether uh, say uh, let's assume first that these two functions are linearly independent so if if it is linearly independent by definition uh, if if you write c1 sorry c1 into y1 plus c2 into y2 equal to 0 should imply c1 equal to c2 is equal to 0 for linear independency so for uh, let's see let's say for um for um, x um, let's first take the first case uh, where 0 less than or equal to x less than so open interval we will write in terms of interval in um, closed interval 0 to infinity so we we will write for this interval this function becomes c1 into x plus c2 into y2 becomes for x greater than or equal to 0 it becomes my x itself c2 x is equal to 0 so we can take x common and since x takes all the values we will we 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 can say that x into c1 plus c2 equal to 0 so that implies c1 plus c2 equal to 0 so in in this situation for open interval 0 to infinity we can uh, since x is not equal to 0 say, since x x is uh, x takes all the values from 0 to infinity we can say that c1 plus c2 has to be 0 uh, for this uh, for this equation to be true for all values of x so we got our equation uh, we got the, let this call this equation 1 and let's take the next open interval where minus infinity to 0 so sorry minus infinity to 0 let's take this interval uh, so c1 y1 plus c2 y2 then it becomes c1 x minus c2 x S since y2 is minus x in this interval equal to 0 so that if you take x of common we get c1 minus c2 equal to 0 so for all values of x for this equation to be true we should have c1 minus c2 equal to 0 so from using 1 and 2 it is very clear that using 1 and 2 we can say that for this two condition to be for this two equation to be true c1 equal to c2 equal to 0 so uh, so we have seen that if c1 y1 plus c2 y2 is equal to 0 for all the values of x in this open interval minus infinity to infinity we will get c1 is equal to c2 is equal to 0 uh, which means y1 and y2 are independent functions therefore we can say that y1x and y2x are linearly independent now 
जस्ट जस्ट रॉन्ड स्किन टू कैलकुलेट रॉन्ड स्किन यू शुड हाउ वाई रॉन्ड स्किन कैन नॉट बी कंप्यूटेड दैट इज़ द सेकेंड पार्ट सो वाई वन ऑफ एक्स वाई टू ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई वन डैश ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई टू डैश ऑफ एक्स दिस इज द रॉन्ड स्किन सो हियर वाई टू इज वाई टू एक्स इज मॉड एक्स एंड वी नीड द डिफरेंशियल ऑफ मॉड एक्स सो एस यू नो मॉड एक्स द डिफरेंश डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ मॉड एक्स मॉड एक्स does not exist at x is equal to 0 uh, so the, we, we the left hand if you take the left hand derivative of mod x uh, limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x by x plus h minus h 0 if we if you take the left uh, left hand derivative zero minus uh, we get uh, zero x is equal to at x is equal to zero we get uh, f of x plus h becomes mod h uh, mod h uh, zero plus h so zero uh, zero minus h so it it goes to zero so zero so sorry let's this is a, okay we first calculate the right hand derivative so this is 0 plus so 0 plus h becomes mod 0 plus h mod 0 plus h minus f of 0 is 0 so by x plus h 0 plus h uh, sorry here it is x so h so since h is 0 plus it is a positive term we get left hand derivative as 1 and if we take the right hand derivative 0 minus similarly we get 0 uh, uh, this equation becomes 0 minus h mod 0 minus h minus 0 by minus h so it is positive h by minus h that equal to minus 1 so left hand derivative and right hand derivative are not same lhs L, uh, so uh, the differential does not exist at x is equal to 0 for all other values for um, for positive values of x d by d uh, d, uh, uh, d by dx of mod x gives 1 uh, and for negative values it gives minus 1 but at x is equal to 0 this derivative does not exist uh, for uh, that is the reason why we cannot compute the uh, round skin uh, for the interval minus infinity to infinity for this in, uh, for this interval at x is equal to 0 this derivative does not exist so uh, round skin cannot be computed graphically we can just represent we can just we we will have y equal to x and will so so this is y equal to mod x so this is the mod x at at this point though continuous this is a sharp turn point here uh, mod x uh, d by dx of mod x does not exist Sharp, at points like this uh, the derivative does not exist uh, though the function is continuous the derivative does not exist here and um, conceptually uh, we can see that uh, no linear combinations uh, so when we write c1 y1 plus c2 y2 equal to 0 we cannot find a c1 and c2 where uh, the sum goes to zero in every x possible so the reason being 
for all the positive values of x, uh, mod x and x gives the same value. So in this region, uh, for uh, for the sum to be this sum to be zero, c1 has to be equal to minus c2. But here, uh, the here uh, the um, for all values of m negative values of x um, first function gives a negative value and uh, the second function gives an equal but opposite value so in all such cases uh, the to have this sum c go, go to zero we should have c1 equal to c2 so these two conditions are contradictory in nature and this is the reason why uh, we cannot uh, we can say that uh, no linear combinations like this uh, can result in zero in all cases except when except when c1 equal to c2 equal to zero that means they are linearly independent so this is the solution to question number 50